Hello, time travelers. NVIDIA's got some new super GPUs coming out this month. I've got their little announcement page. What's it open here? New heroes debut in the gaming and creating universe with AI as their superpower. Well, I'll tell you if they're good for AI or not in this video. This is my look of disapproval. So which GPUs are we talking about? We got the 470 Super, the 470 Ti Super, and the 4080 Super. Now, it's not really that hard to look up what the specs are and compare them to other GPUs. Because Tech Power Up always has the details you need. Here's the 4070, the 4070 Ti one, and the 4080 one. So that's the data that I went over and that I'm going to be showing you in this video. So looking over just a little bit of the data here. 470 Super has the same memory clock, same memory size at 12 gigabytes. 12 gigabytes is a good number to start at for AI workloads and also plenty for most games. But it's got the same memory bandwidth. Same MSRP. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that these numbers I haven't filled in because they're actually not on the market yet. But if I compare even more specs, let's see here. Slight, it's a tiny bit faster base clock, who cares? And everything else is the same. Like, what is the point of this GPU? It is a waste of my time. Looking at the 47 Ti Super, it comes rocking with the 8103 GPU core, which was stolen from the 4080 for some reason. It's faster than the 4080 on the base clock, and it's got the same memory speed as the 4080, same memory size, and it uses less power. That's like, if it were still cryptocurrency bull run and Ethereum was still mineable, I would grab one of these. But the 16 gigabytes of VRAM, even though it's not 24, like a 3090, 3090 Ti, or 4090, it allows you to do bigger batch sizes and do more different kinds of AI if you wanted, and even cache more assets when gaming but not just a vram size is appealing to me check out the memory bus and memory bandwidth this makes it an interesting value proposition for ai workloads so this gpu is coming in looking better than the 4080 which doesn't make sense 4070 ti super should have a performance but somewhere between the 470 ti and the 4080 but looking back at my other spreadsheet it's got better performance than the 4080 at a lower MSRP for some reason? Dude, that's like $400 less. It is. What? Comparing the 4080 Super against the 4080 is very similar to comparing the 4070 Super against the 4070. Just take a quick look here. Slightly faster base clock. Memory stuff is the same. Same VRAM all across the board. Same memory bus, same memory bandwidth. So this time NVIDIA wins the waste of my time award twice for this launch. Waste of my time. Its MSRP is $200 less than the 4080. But if you're getting a new GPU, you could go $400 less and get the 4070 Ti Super. Comparing the winner of this round of Nvidia's feeding the masses tiny little crumbs. I'm just getting some crumbs to feed the parakeet with. Leads me to want to compare the 4070 Ti with the 3060 12 gig. As I talked about in my previous video, and you can click a card right here, the 3060 12 gig edition provided enough VRAM space and bandwidth to run a lot of AI workloads. The 3060 12 gigs MSRP was 329, but its prices seem to be going up for new ones on Newegg and Amazon from what I noticed. The 4070 Ti Super's MSRP is 243% higher than the RTX 3060 12 gig. Going over to the other spreadsheet I have, I'm looking at the memory bandwidth now, and the memory bus, and the clock speeds. It's got less than twice the performance, but it doesn't have twice the VRAM, because NVIDIA is always shortening us on the VRAM. If you don't believe me, watch my previous video about the 3060 12 gig. NVIDIA's pumping all their VRAM into their server products for corporations to run AI. But if you're planning on spending about $800 on a GPU, maybe check out used RTX 3090s on eBay. If you're good at eBay and, you know, avoiding shady sellers, that'd be a great spot to start. Like check out this EVGA for 785 because the 3090 has 24 gigabytes of VRAM. And if I scroll down on Tech Power up here, the memory bus is huge and so is the bandwidth. And I could tell you that one of my systems has the 3090 and the other one has the 3080 Ti. From my biased observation, runs AI workloads twice as fast. 
And if you get a 3090 instead of the 4070 Ti, you don't have to deal with getting a power supply that has these 12 VH power support or using one of these crazy splitters off of a really high-end older power supply type. Of course, my 3090 takes three power cables straight into the side of it. At least it doesn't have this crazy bulky what's it thing hanging off of it. So now it's a short little self promo section of the video where you say click like and subscribe and hit the bell. If, if at the very least, if you don't want to subscribe to the channel, but come on, I do. I'm doing all this AI stuff. You probably want to subscribe. And I'm also showing you the hardware you need and to what to look out for. What other AI YouTubers doing that? The least you can do to help the algorithm to thank me for my time is to click like and put a comment below. If you're looking for a new GPU for AI and or gaming, I'm about to show you my opinion, what I would grab on the low budget end, the mid tier and the upper end. For the lower end, I would grab the RTX 3060 12 gig because you could do a lot of gaming, probably a lot of 1440 and tons and tons of 1080 options with that or around 200, 250 bucks off of eBay for used ones. Cause I've got this filter to buy it now and not show me the not working ones. For middle ground, I'd look at the 3080 Ti or the 4070. You'll get the memory performance of the RTX 3060 12 gig, but better gaming performance. Here's the 3080 Ti on eBay, but you gotta keep an eye out for regular 3080 sneaking in because eBay doesn't know any better. But at a quick glance, I'm seeing that they're coming in less than 600 bucks. As you can see, it's holding up against the 4070 because here's the 4070's results. It's also under 600 bucks. And a quick tip, just a quick tip for eBay to help you search for stuff. Once you filter out what you want over here, see I have it new, open box, and used. And you set this to buy it now right here. And you set this to price plus shipping lowest first. eBay's are big bugaboo and will freaking reset all your filters if you do a new search from right here. So all I do is go up here and say, like, let's, let's change this to 3080 Ti. I put 3080 plus Ti. And that puts the search in there, but it leaves your filters and everything turned on. And if there's a problem with your card, always try to take care of it within two weeks because it's going to take another two weeks for eBay to back you up and you have a 30 day limit before eBay says, nope, nope, we're keeping our 13% and there's no way you can return it because that's how eBay makes their money. eBay does this to both sellers and buyers. If there's a dispute, they try to drag it out till it gets past the 30 days. Check out this video I did where eBay did this and ripped me off for about 500 bucks. And for the upper end GPU, uh, consider looking at RTX 3090. If you can manage the price for a 3090 Ti, that GPU will not thermal throttle nearly as much as the 3090 because all of its VRAM is on the side where the cooler is. Just quickly check out this picture from Reddit that I just stumbled on. Half of the VRAM on a regular 3090 is on the back side where the back plate is. See? Right here. And those are the thermal pads. And you might be thinking, oh good, thermal pads to cool it down. But all you have to cool it down is this back plate. But here's a picture of just a generic cooler, whatever. So imagine that whatever you want to cool down is here. And the heat travels through these pipes and through these fins. And then you put fans on the fins to, to blow off the air. And that's how you transfer heat. And here's just a, another random picture I found. Your VRAM is supposed to be under here on the same side with the GPU and so that it touches the cooler and the fans cool it down. Here's the actual release dates of the three GPUs. The 4070 Super coming out in three days from the filming of this video. And if you're going to grab one of these, I would wait for the 4070 Ti Super. But you know how NVIDIA is. Sometimes the GPU launches are just paper launches. They don't actually have them for sale but just in case they do please don't buy the 4070 super or the 4080 super it's not worth it Ugh, not worth it waste of time but if you're wanting to get the 4070 ti what i would do is i would literally sit my butt on top of my favorite online retailer and check it every single day because the internet's smart they subscribe to channels like mine who tell them what to look for on a gpu and they grab the good one as soon as it comes out so the 4070 Ti is going to sell fast. If you already use your GPU to generate images on your computer, 
why don't you check out my video about some tips and tricks for automatic 1111? Or you could check out my latest skit that I did with my son that I had the free version of ChatGPT help me write the script for. And you could check that out over here. And you could subscribe to the channel by clicking this what's it over here. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the comments.